Hi guys. Today is part three of Curvy Optical Illusion Artwork. I have been busy filling in my purple sections. It's starting to look pretty cool. Next, I'm gonna go with my red. So, every area that I have a purple, I'm going to go on top of it with red. Now, if you remember, we were pressing hard near the corners and then getting lighter as we came up towards the centers. So when I say corners, that's these pointy areas here where our arch kind of comes down. And then fill in the rest. So we're going from dark red to medium red to very, very light in the middle, back to medium again, and then back to dark. All right, next, on top of this next purple one, same thing. I've got my dark red, I've got my medium red. I'm gonna get very, very light pressing lightly. Now I'm going to get to press a little bit heavier so it looks medium. And now I'm going to press heavy so it looks dark. It might take a little bit of practice and a couple of tries, but it's definitely good practice because it can help your artwork look a lot more realistic and interesting like it has depth. Dark, light, medium, dark. I'm going to, see, I'll mix it up over here. I'm going up and down motion here because it's a little bit easier than that curve. Sometimes these curves can get really hard to do when it's very curvy. But when you can, try and follow the contour. Dark on the sides. Turn your paper if you need to lighter in the center. I am going to go ahead and finish up the red and then I'll come back with the final section of this video and we're going to do black and then we'll be done. So I'll see you in a little bit for part four.